Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Rob Snow White, fly fishing consultant. Today I'm going to be tying what I call my catch-all nymph. I know you can't see it too well right now. You're going to have to bear with me. The, the toddler is in her room. Instead of napping, she is uh, playing with her toys in her crib and screeching. So what we're going to do is tie this fly. It catches pretty much any warm and cold water species you want to catch from. I believe we caught a snakehead. We've caught golden shiners, largemouth, smallmouth. We've caught baby striped bass, etc. It has very few ingredients. But first, we're going to start off with the hook. It's going to be an Orvis heavy wet nymph hook, size 10. And the beads are 3.5 millimeter. And we're going to use uni thread. We're going to fashion the thread down and just wrap back. The first part we're going to add to the fly is the tail. For that, I'm going to be using calf tail. And most people would use the colorful stuff up here. I use that for my little clousers for schoolie stripers. But we're going to utilize this stuff in the back. Just pinch a little piece down and cut it. And trim. Do, 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 do. There we go. And there's the tail for you. It's a little long, but what the heck. All right. Next up, I need to take a piece of holographic flashaboo that I get from Melinda's Fly Shop in Altmar, New York. We're going to tie that down. And next, we're going to add some dubbing. This is Ice Dub Golden Brown. It's a nice buggy looking color, not very specific. And believe me, the, Kiersey is very happy in her room right now. She's got her little flat lady in her blanket, and she's rolling around in her crib. I don't do fancy dubbing loops. I just kind of twist it on and wrap. It works for me. Nothing fancy schmancy for me. Look at that. It worked. All right. We're going to fold over that flashaboo now. And just do a couple wraps forward. That wrapping gives it some segmentation, which all insects have, especially nymphs. And remember, all nymphs are mostly, for the most part, dorsal eventually flattened. So tying something that's round is kind of bizarre to me in the first place. Next, we're going to take Hungarian partridge. I got this at a fly shop probably 10 years ago, and I still have barely made a dent. I like this one. And to get these little pieces isolated, we're just going to peel off. Everything from back there. Pinch the tip and pull forward. That little piece I am pinching is what we are going to tie down. Right there. I'm going to trim that. Now we'll just do maybe two wraps on this. There we go. Your fly is just about done. We're going to wrap behind the stem of the Hungarian partridge soft hackle. We're going to trim that there, twist a couple times, and ba-boom. That's my catch-all nymph. Try and zoom in now because uh, you do want to see this. This is supposed to be an HD camera. I don't know how well focused that's going to be. And not very well at all. But you can see pictures of it on the website, which is robsnowwhite.com. I thank you for downloading or clicking on this, uploading whatever you're doing, and uh, look forward to some more videos. If you have any requests, such as this one, please email me, rob at robsnowwhite.com.